And hello, welcome to V Rising Review. Why bother? Okay, V Rising, what is this game? This game is a, um, multi a server based game which doesn't fit with the concept very well. It has some uh, concept of viability with co op, but you, this concept is you're a vampire and you are trying to get your some more get, uh, get powerful again. You're a weakened vampire basically, and you want to have your vampire race to be more powerful and go back into the ruling class where they ru ruled the humans and had their own castles and ruled it from there. And you have all these extra cool powers that you can get and you want to build that stuff up. Great concept. I love the concept. The execution, I don't like. But let's get on. It's a top-down view game, and you got to build stuff in different multiple levels, too. Um, I haven't gotten to the multiple levels part. I don't know how it's going to work, but I assume it's going to work okay. Uh, not too bad, so you can't see the roof in here. And I assume the roof is going to be up here. And I can only assume that if you have a roof up there and you go to the second level, you won't see, you, you won't see it until you actually get to the staircase and go up to that second level and build your uh, awesome huge castle. But, yeah. Uh, the other concept in this game is you have to do lots of farming and you got daylight and nighttime. And the daylight and nighttime cycle is a good and bad thing. You can take damage if you get in the sun too much because you're a vampire. And I guess that's what they want to do to have some uh, viability to play. But this is what you're doing. You run around the terrain and you got to farm resources and find resources and to build your you build your base up so that's one way to do that's one thing you need to do is lots of farming um we'll get into the farming issues and stuff like that there's farming like this and this is the terrain so there's lots of big rocks that you can't adjust you can't move there's lots of ground there's lots of uh, valleys like this that you can't get into and there's lots of other big standing rocks like this that you can't do them this is a game where you got to do building and have space to build your 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 castle and stuff like that but then that really restricts the uh your your your, your ability to do this with terrain like this they even went overboard on the ups and downs in the terrain and the ability to not uh, actually do anything and here is an example of combat so this is your combat uh, basic combat fight will take a spear you got a wolf that attacks you and you can attack it back you got spells you can miss you can teleport you got you got spells like that you can dodge lots and lots of mechanicals and stuff like that I just want to show you the combat and then once they're low you can feed on them right so you can end the fight when they're when they're low percentage and just feed on them. So, you know, at this point the wolf isn't really much of a threat and a challenge at all. And then once you kill them, you know, you get your resources. So that's the game. You got to kill a bunch of stuff to get your blood, and your blood drains over time. And but then you got to farm lots of resources with the uh, proper tools are better for it. But yeah, lots of farming and the travel is really really slow. This is you traveling around and you got to move your camera if you can or zoom in if you can like there's no first person view or anything like that um yeah so you're running around like this and this is how fast you really travel it's pretty slow and yeah look at the guy running trying to go forward yeah you can go into wolf form or try to go to wolf form there we go that's weird okay and once you're in wolf form of course you can't attack and you're like this where's my castle over here so this is how fast you can travel. And this was only this distance here. When you have to travel this whole map, when you gotta travel over to there and you can't build more than like two locations for a castle and you gotta build one near the start where you start because that's all the quests are. You gotta start building one here. Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, you're gonna have to try and build one maybe in the middle somewhere for a real castle and then that's it and you can't build them everywhere you can't uh, at the moment there's no teleporting back and forth between them you can teleport from other way stations but you can't teleport with resources which is a bad default setting you can change that at least uh, but yeah this is the, this is the game concept you clear out your area you build your castle you build all the production buildings and you start having them you know produce you know your planks. So, let's get, so this is a good concept. The other concept in this game, you have blood. Your, your castle heart feeds off of blood that you give it from killing guys. Great. And then you have your blood altar where you go around and you kill bosses to drain their blood. So you kill the wolf boss and other bosses and you get powers. That's how you, that's how you get your wolf farm. Basic boss. Uh, then you start killing more powers and then you get more bosses and you get more and more powers and it keeps on going. So there's lots of bosses um, to get there. What's the last one? Doesn't say. 
doesn't show you. It doesn't tell you all these things. I guess if they're blocked out, you don't get to see what you learned, which is, you know, an oversight. I don't like that kind of stuff. It shouldn't uh, hide things from you, what, you get, what you're going to get for killing them, when they eventually just going to open them up anyways. Like right here, see? As soon as, you, as soon as you're high enough level to do it, you can do it. But, you know, the gear level? Yeah. Whatever. Now you get a bear form. That might be pretty cool. I should have checked it out. Bear form. A rat form. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So, yeah, they have lots of neat stuff in here. Uh, questionable powers. So they have lots of neat stuff, and so maybe later on in this game, if you, they might unlock an ability to teleport back to your castle and teleport with gear. Uh, right now, the only way to do it is really basically die, and then then you can come back to your base or stuff like that. But yeah, uh, the basic that's that's is that's the game. Build your own stuff, uh, build your castle, farm, and kill stuff, and get powers back. Um, they could have done so much more and could have executed it a lot better, I, I believe. But the uh, server play, let's go on to that. They made this a server-based game for co-op. They're trying to make this more like a, uh, a um, MMO, which is... Uh, I think they're just trying to do a cash grab, basically. I think they're trying to do the, the least amount of work to get the most amount of people to play this and fall for their uh, tactics, basically, and release everything early like this. I don't know if they're even going to get to their full version of this game. Uh, who knows? They're probably going to, you know... I have a feeling that these guys are doing as trying to check as much boxes as they possibly can, and they're trying, trying to do PvP and uh, stuff like that, and trying to do it all server play, and trying to get uh, the players to do the work for them, and probably develop the stuff for them with mods and stuff like that maybe I think any game that requires people to, to do mods is basically they're being sloppy and they don't want to do the work themselves and they can't really finish their own games and they don't listen to the players the real players not the crybabies they don't listen to the real players that actually want the game to be better and uh, more enjoyable for their time spent and right now it is not. It is not enjoyable, and for your time spent, um, that's why I uh, would. That's why I wouldn't bother with this game. So I'm going to give this game a four out of ten. So let's go into the reasons why I'm giving it such a uh, poor review for such a great concept uh, of a game that I would really like to enjoy playing. Um, so let's get into the uh, first issue: is the traveling. And well, no, no. The first issue is the servers. Uh, seeing a PvP on a game that's concept is basically for co-op or single player uh, just you know irritates me. It's just an irritant. Um, setting up a server is 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 great and all, and doing it, but the load time is like five minutes. It almost takes five minutes to start your game for the first time to get into the game, and then it takes another couple minutes each time you want to load in, and you gotta load your server uh, settings. Now your server settings, you can't change them right now. So this is something. That they could add in the future but right now your server settings I, I saw no way to change them easily change them you can't change anything in the game even though uh, which doesn't make much sense but you, even when you before you start the game I saw no menu or options to change the server settings so once you start your server that's it you can't change them which is bad it's horrible like you want to fix any mistakes you want to adjust your server according to the number of players you have in your co-op if you want to have a group of friends to a two or three or you want to just have an open server with like you know 40 to 100 people i don't know how much people you can have but you have clans and stuff like that i think they're just trying to milk in clans and 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 get people to play the multiplayer stuff on a game that doesn't really apply to it it doesn't really have much of a concept they're trying to throw extra stuff in i think and trying to cash grab on that kind of stuff. As we look around uh, my little base right here for the buildings and things like that. Okay, that's the first negative is the servers. Let's go into the other negatives. The, uh, the default settings are horrible. Um, they really need to be modified if you're going to be playing and spending a much time. Um, I don't mind going around and farming stuff and uh, to get resources, but it's, it's my time being spent on farming resources. I don't want to spend hours and hours doing this to break stone. I don't want to spend hours and hours to get stone. I don't want to spend hours and hours cutting trees down. It's just not interesting to get this much resources. If it's going to take me this, you know, getting that much resources, it looks like a lot, doesn't it? 70 wood, it looks like a lot of wood. But it's the effect of what these resources do. That 70 wood only makes if they take 20 logs 20 wood to make one friggin plank come on this is like a horrible idea horrible concept for a simple game 20 pieces of wood to make one log that is 
the most inefficient sawmill I have ever seen in my life. If they had some like lumberjack who worked at a sawmill saw that, they would laugh their asses off. They like, seriously, they would totally laugh their asses off. One friggin' log can't even make one plank. They would just laugh and laugh and laugh all day. Um, part of the part they did get, what would be, which would be right, would be okay. Is you know, 80 logs to build a wall, a nice big wall like this, 80 logs. Yeah, fine. You know, some other games do a little bit less, but they, you know, you know, cut down one tree to make a log wall. That's that's okay, but to make a plank, you know, you're you're getting ridiculous here. And the other things they need to do in this game is uh, um, with the powers that you can unlock with the blood altar, you get the different powers. I think I discussed that. Discussed that already. You kill guys, get the powers, but they unlock recipes. That is just horrible. Getting recipes for unlocking stuff. And some of the things you need to do is like you need to get stone dust. To make a uh, whetstone, um, you need stone dust for that. that. That's news to me. But then you need to get uh, you need to build uh, this um, this here grinder here. You need to have whetstones to build it, and the grinder makes the stone dust. So, so before you can build your grinder, you need uh, you need whetstones, and you need the recipe to do it. Uh, it just starts losing. You just lose me right there, right? You need you need this to build this, but you need the, that to build it, to get it from there. So you have to go out and uh, find these resources to do that, and which is kind of a, a whole waste of time concept, trying to get you to go around and waste your time running around this slowly to go back and forth to do stuff. It, that's just you know, I I I can I can get the concept. You get to go find resources to uh to build stuff. To, for the first time but you know unlocking recipes this way is horrible they could have done such a better way so the easiest the easiest and cheapest way to do stuff is just you know kill a boss to unlock a recipe yeah i can see kill a boss to unlock powers cool get recipes from them no uh the other bad thing about the concept is bosses that summon guys in th out of thin air so lots of the uh, guys will summon ads out of thin air and ads out of thin air is a stupid concept and i i think it's really uh a, a low-key bad thing to do um try and be more creative on it like this is like you know this isn't like you know 20 uh, 1990 or whatever if you're going to have if you want like if you want to do fights when you have more concept and have different uh, guys come out of nowhere um have them like you know not humans and how, or maybe even humans come out of the ground or something like that. Have them come out of uh, buildings. Maybe they were in buildings and locked the uh, and doors and the doors opened all or the walls fall down and guys come out of the walls, out, out of the building from the from the walls inside the building or they're in the hiding underground or something like that and the guys does the whistles. Hey guys, come out now. Come out. Spring the trap. You know and the the, the camouflage the ground pops open and the guys pop out of it. But you know have them in there beforehand so you can actually maybe kill them before they pop out if you know the fight. And have some actual uh, foresight, and to the, making it the easiest, dumbest thing you can do um, in this day and age is just sloppy. And uh, the respawn rate, the, the servers you can't adjust your respawn rate on the, on these games. So the the guys, the mobs, they all respawn like within a couple minutes. So you want to travel from point A to point B, you clear the pathway, and then on your way back a minute later, those guys, the same guys, are back again. Yeah, thanks. For, you leave your door open there, and they just take the opportunity to just run right into your base. Hi guys, you guys having fun? Now I got a, now I got a deer trapped in my base. I can close my door and trap this deer. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that because I'm not going to come back and play this game. But yeah, now you're locked in here. Uh, let's go over here. Maybe we should go to Wolf Farm because this this movement speed and stuff is just really 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 slow. There, now you're trapped inside my base. Unless you can magically get out. Did he magically get out? It looks... I don't see the deer. Where'd he go? It, is this another issue? I trapped I trapped him. He's inside my house. He's inside my walls. But I don't see the deer anymore. He magically disappeared. Did he jump through the door? Wow. That's awesome. So, more cool stuff like that, I guess. So... These are some of the reasons uh, I'm giving this a 4 out of 10. It seems like lots of things in this game are overreached and wasted my time. And the traveling is just horrible. Some of these things can be changed. Like you can change your server settings to enable these uh, teleporters that you can actually transport resources on there. And up your resource count and up everything else to make it more, uh, more viable for single player. But you can't change these server settings inside the game once you've started. So once you've invested your time uh, in this game, you can't change it to make it reflect 
reflect a more realistic value, which you think is more realistic, at least compared to what they think. And I don't think uh, 20, lo 20 logs to make one plank is realistic. I think they lost me right there on that one right there. When I saw that, I was like, what the hell? Uh, what the hell, basically, indeed. And what the hell, I, they lost me on the terrain right away, all the bad terrain. But if you want to travel from over here and bring the resources that you collect over here, all the way over to here, this is going to take you, like, a good 20-30 minutes just to run from here to there. Really. And I don't want to do that. Like, do you want to do that? Why, why are you going to bother wasting your time running back and forth for whatever basic minimum reward you're going to get for a bad concept? Uh, thing and then deal with all the guys back and forth over and over again the same guys and they keep responding and they keep responding uh, Yeah, people don't want to deal with that Unless I don't think people want to deal with guys that keep responding and spawning over again wasting your time I don't want to waste my time traveling back and forth all the time That's why they have fast travel because you've done it before you don't want to repeat the process I don't want to, people don't want to waste their time going back and forth. They don't want to repeat uh, Waste their time repeating cutting down trees a hundred times to get stuff built it is just a flawed design concept right there. These things can be changed, but they can't change the respawn time. Uh, so if they can change that and change the server settings, this game would go up to a 5 out of 10 in my book. But as it is right now, uh, I'm not going to bother with it. Um, if they change the whole way they do unlocking recipes, uh, that would be great. That could up up the, uh, the value of this game too. Because right now, I think... Uh, Getting recipes off guys is a bad way to do it. They could have given you, even done the secondary way to do it. That's the, that's the basic, simple, dumbest way they've done That's like, you know, the old school, easiest way to do stuff. But the second way that they could have done stuff is to give you uh, uh, points. So, you know, uh, you kill you kill guys, you drain their blood, you get so many uh, whatever blood points. And then you can use the blood points to make yourself, you know, more intelligent or whatever. And unlock recipes and, uh, you know, the ability to get recipes. Or however do you want to do the... Uh, to get your research done instead of just finding stuff um, getting itself that way like you know finding research notes to unlock different blueprints for gear that's pretty cool that's 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 an okay way to do it they have blueprints that are hiding in different bases all over the map so you go here you might find a blueprint for something and then you have that unlocked for that's that's good for advanced gears and uh, unlocking uh, you know different things like that but for unlocking basic building concepts no like uh, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to make stone dust uh, from stone that shouldn't be an issue it shouldn't be an issue how to make some of these things but they did make it an issue and that's you know a failed failed uh, failed uh, follow through on their part I believe um, they're just trying to make you waste a whole bunch of time on this uh, and trying to you know using the good concept uh, and horrible execution uh, I don't know how else they can uh, actually improve this game. I don't see this game. If they do all these server settings and change some of the things that they can change, I can see this game going getting up to a 6 out of 10 for the final version, but I can't see it going higher than that uh, with all the uh, best changes that they, they, they could do. And who says they are going to do them, right? They're going to listen to the... This game has PvP in it, and which is a failed comp set. They're going to listen to all the PvP people and all the uh, people that don't care about making this game better and just want to uh, make it themselves more powerful and kill guys faster in one shot. That's basically how PvP works. They want more ambushes and way to run away and stuff like that. Um, I So... Listening to PvP was what ruined world, stuff like World of Warcraft. I would never listen to those people at all. Sorry for sorry guys, but yeah, this game does not belong in a PvP zone at all. Um, listening to stuff like that ruins the uh, whole basic game for everybody else. Uh, so please just don't do that in the future. Please don't make don't listen to PvP player. Stick to PvP games. Uh, make it a PvP game if you want to, but uh, building stuff like this doesn't fit with it. Uh, make it one or the other. Trying to do both, just trying is trying to do both and check all the boxes ruins the uh, ruins your boxes, uh, your your scores in all the boxes in my book. So yeah, the more boxes you try and check, the less you're going to get out of all of them. Basically, you're just going to get worse and worse trying to put them all together. It doesn't work, and this game doesn't work as it is. And it's not going to get better because of the basic uh, concept of how it's working right now. They would really have to fundamentally fundamentally change almost everything in this game to make it a better game. So, like, I would be thinking uh, you get to get more uh, vampire thralls, basically. You get to... Uh, you make your own, basically. You're making your own servants right here, and I don't know what all the servants can do. Oh, here you go. He's done. So we got a servant. I don't know what this servant can do for me. 
let's see servant has an inventory he's got a well, nice name on there buddy so he's got stats and I don't know how to actually do them there you go got a servant now you gotta build the throne command your servants with the castle throne so you gotta command your servants and they can do stuff they can probably farm some resources or do patrols and they can get stuff like that but yeah I would like to see more on your your stuff like that so this is just basically a thrall um, I would like to see more than thrall I like to see you make more vampires like make your own vampires and uh, have them uh, go out and do stuff for you and uh, guard your castle and have more uh, you can't do it in this type of play with this type of map you can't you can't do these things with the way the way it is with the bad terrain the way it is like this and so many holes in the train is so busy and so loud uh, for building and so far apart to try and get from point A to point B with the with the bad respawn rates and the way they do respawns uh, is just it's just not really that good and can you fix your name like you think they could actually have a display name that actually works doesn't matter what version you are you can't display a text name across a guy yeah I don't get it but yeah that seems like really sloppy to me that's just bad anyways that's my review. I, this game is going to get a 4 out of 10, and if they uh, clean up their act, they can get up to a 6 out of 10. But I highly doubt they're going to be doing stuff like that. Um, they could. They could easily do some of the things to get it up higher. But I don't think this game is really worth bothering right now. Yeah, I, like, I like the Blood Moon effect. You get faster movement. But you really need faster travel. You need to be able to go back and forth on your base and not waste your time doing it. It's just too much of a time sink. To make this game worthwhile and getting your powers with this type of with this type of gameplay and graphics, right? Like, it just doesn't do it for me. Like, it could have done so much better than what they have right now. You already hurt pretty badly. Weak bear, easy bear. There you go. Extra blood presence. There, you, that helps. I still need a lot more to get stuff. Movement speed higher, so you really gotta focus on that, stuff like that. I gotta do the fight, fights over here. Tainted hearts, crossbow. That's pretty good to find a crossbow at the start of the game, but yeah, this is the game. This is the gameplay. And if this it does it for you, then cool. But this doesn't do it for me. I do not like the all the farming and the the extra work you gotta do in traveling. It's just the traveling. I don't care about the farming that badly. But it's just the extra slow traveling back and forth from your base. Um, uh, does, please, like, can any of these games, can you actually uh, learn how to make a wheel? And maybe even make a wheelbarrow. Like, <laughs> I haven't seen a game with a wheelbarrow or a basic wagon type thing. Like, can I, like, you know, get a horse and a wagon to carry all my resources around for me and uh, make some roadways and stuff like that to... Uh, farm resources or is this the uh, best you can do is have a uh, little thrall that goes out and cuts wood for you and uh, basically works like that you know but that is it uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah I don't recommend playing this game right now and uh, maybe wait for future updates and uh, see if they actually do have it progress a little bit better but as it is right now, um, this is only good for playing online with, online with other players and ha and uh, take their resources that they've farmed them. So yeah, just have other people farm resources for you and uh, abuse people like that. So yeah, I don't see this being a very fun co-op game uh, in my eyes or uh, anything like that. So thanks for watching. Uh, 4 out of 10, and I'll see you next time.